you clicked on this video because you want to find out more about Spanish tile roofs and is it right for your home? Let's get started. Okay, as you can see, I've brought some of the hottest babes you can possibly find to help me make some videos. And so guys, if you like seeing the girls in the videos, please watch our videos all the way through. It really helps out the channel and well, it helps out the Google algorithm when you watch the videos all the way through. So do me a favor, just go ahead and watch everything and we can afford to have more babes in our videos. Now, my name is Zach Plinkensop. I'm the owner of a company called Digital Roofing Innovations. I'm a licensed general contractor and roofing contractor in over nine states. And I'm also a US military veteran, just so you know you're getting your information from. All right, so while the girls are off playing, we're gonna get serious talking about Spanish tile. We're gonna go over the summary really quick. First, we're gonna talk about where Spanish tile came from. We're gonna talk about the materials that they're made of. Can you walk on them? Uh, all the different styles that's available. And of course, the cost. All right, so Spanish tile roofs. These are also known as a Spanish clay tile roof. Now, if you see me looking over to my left, it's because we have a lot of notes to go over in this video, and I wanna make sure that you get the best information possible. But Spanish tile or clay roofs actually originated in Spain. That's why, of course, their name is Spanish tile. Now, of course, these have been popular all over South America and any place where there's large clay deposits. Now, of course, in the United States and in Canada, you mainly are gonna see asphalt shingle and metal roofing. Well, it's because it's, we have a lot of oil, we have a lot of petroleum, we have a lot of things that we can make those materials a lot cheaper, while Spanish tile is a lot more expensive in the US. Once you get into Mexico and then Latin America, you're gonna see a ton of Spanish tile roofs and you're also gonna see them all over Europe from Spain all the way over to Croatia, all the way in Eastern Europe. Now, one of the reasons that a lot of people want to use Spanish tile roofs is because of how long they last. We routinely see these when installed last more than 100 years. I mean, they are an incredible roofing system. That's why you see people even in North America use a lot of Spanish tile roofs and not just again, North America, Mexico, but further north in the United States into Canada, you'll see a ton of Spanish tile roofs. And these, again, these roofs are gonna last 100 years or more. Now, one of the bad things though about having a Spanish tile roof is walking on it is sometimes a big problem. So if you're gonna have to have a lot of maintenance done on your roofing system or something was not installed correctly in the first place, walking on these roofs is never a good idea. We always say it's kind of playing with fire because a lot of times you walking on these clay roofs are gonna cause them to crack and then you're gonna have further damage. So it's vitally important to make sure that when these are installed, they're installed correctly and you're not gonna have any issues going down the road. Again, they last 100 years or more if installed correctly, but if there's damages that's happened, whether it be a hailstorm, windstorm, debris falling, anything that could cause damage to these tiles, just understand that, well, they're hard to repair and you don't wanna be walking on them. All right, so what colors are available for a Spanish tile roof? Now, typically what you can see is a red clay. Now this could be all the way from like a very, very red color that you'd see in like, think of the Grand Canyon or anything that's like a really, really red to this, which is kind of more of a yellowish, orangish hue. Uh, now, if you're buying a Spanish tile roof, understand that you can have these made in different colors, particularly if you're getting the metal made Spanish tile. Of course, that can come in a multitude of different colors. You just need to check with your manufacturer on which colors they can use. Most of the time, even for natural clay, clay tiles, they can match, um, but you just wanna make sure that you see whatever color you're wanting to pick in the direct sunlight. And again, if color is important, I would recommend going ahead and doing a metal style or a Spanish tile metal roof. I would do that well over to doing a natural. Um, because if you do a natural, you're kind of want, you're buying that because you want the premium old looking look of the Spanish tile roof. Now, what are Spanish tile roofing material made of? Now, the modern Spanish tile clay roof is typically made of ceramic or concrete tiles. There are still some manufacturers that make original clay, but a lot of times you're gonna see ceramic or concrete tiles. And of course, like I said, you're also gonna have an option of having Spanish tiles that are made out of metal as well. I think there's a few other manufacturers, uh, it's still metal, but you'll see the metal, uh, it's like a metal shingle almost like that you'll see it made out of. Of course, 
Uh, they do last still a really long time and they're a great option and some of them can cost less, obviously. Uh, one of the questions we receive a lot if people are interested in a Spanish tile roof is how much is this gonna cost? Now, we know that's very important to a lot of homeowners out there or business owners that's wanting to install this on a roof. Now, your typical residential home in the United States it's going to cost anywhere from twenty-five to fifty thousand dollars to have this roofing system installed. If you're wanting to again use more of the clay tiles or ceramic tiles, it's it's quite expensive. Uh, and of course, this can vary on your slope, your pitch, your uh, access to your roof, how many stories it is, the size of the roof. All that has to come into play. But you're typically going to, play, going to pay anywhere from ten dollars to eighteen dollars per square foot or what we like to use in the roofing business is $1,000 to $1,800 per square. So $1,000 to $1,800 per square and $10 to $18 per square foot. So again, this can be quite expensive. Now, who are the best manufacturers for Spanish tile roofing material? Now, there are quite a few out there that we really like. Uh, one of them is Ludowiki, it's pronounced, or it's pronounced Ludowiki, but it's spelled L-U-D. O-W-I-C-I, and they're one of the leading manufacturers for the terracotta tile. Now, one of the things that we like about them, uh, these are some of the best tile clays that you're gonna get on the market. This original tile, it's your, again, your terracotta tile. They're weather resistant. They have incredible breaking strength. And of course, the absence of mold and mildew make them a great option for you. However, the con is the cost. Now there's a lot of cost in these because they're, well, expensive and these are premium clay tile roofs. Uh, the next manufacturer that we really like is Tejas Borja. Uh, this is T-E-J-A-S-B-O-R-J-A. -A. And these are directly from Spain is where these are made at. Now, one of the things that we really, or the things we really like about them, uh, the pros, they have great aesthetic appeal. We think these are some of the best looking tiles on the market and they come in a bunch of different co uh, colors. They come in cognac, cobalt blue, green, carmine, white, slate, gray, and brown. So there's a lot of different styles that are or colors that are available within the style. Uh, they use inkjet technology to make sure that again, that, that color is really, really coming out on that tile and it's going to last for a long, long time. And they use raw materials, which is um, for some people is a, is a good, bad thing. But the, the fact is it's, um, it's really better for the environment long term using this style versus some of the other ways. Uh, some of the cons with them is well, there's really not a whole lot. Uh, again, cost comes into comes into play, but I, overall, I think they're just a great, great manufacturer. All right, so there are some other options if you don't want to pony up all the money to get a Spanish tile roof. I know they are expensive. So there are again some options. One of them is a composite roof tile. Now it's still going to have the semicircle that you're going to get from Spanish tile. For most people, they're gonna think you have a Spanish tile roof, but you're gonna be able to save a little bit on the cost. Now, some of the pros that we think is applicable to this type of roofing system is they're very environmental friendly because they use a lot of recyclables to make up the tile. Um, and they have way more colors that are, that are available. You can use uh, just about any color you can think of, kind of like an asphalt shingle. There's just a ton of different color options versus some of the manufacturers that you're gonna have with Spanish tile, you're not gonna have nearly as many options on that. Now, the cons are they do not last nearly as long as a Spanish tile roof. I, I, I dare to say, because this is kind of a new product, how long they're gonna last for, but I, I would be shocked if any of these last over 100 years. And, you know, for me, cost is still a issue with these. While, yes, they are less expensive than a Spanish tile roof, you're still gonna be paying high end on these and uh, the roofing system may last 50 years, it may not. Uh, a, lot of mark, uh, a lot of roofing contract, or excuse me, roofing supply manufacturers believe they're gonna last 50 plus years, but at the end of the day, we don't really know because they haven't been on the market long enough to test them. So what the costs are, it's kind of like with slate. I, at the end of the day, it's still holding out jury on whether these last as long as they, you know, they say that they're going to. Now, another option, of course, is you can do metal roofing and you can do metal tiles that look like Spanish tiles. For me, uh, I think the pros are longevity, durability, and they're very energy efficient. Again, you're gonna reflect a lot of the sun's rays. Metal roofing has gotten very popular in the United States. We've installed a lot of metal roofs, and so we are a big fan of this product as well. If you want a Spanish tile looking roof, uh, some of the cons are 
Some people don't like the sound of a metal roof. Uh, they are a little bit noisier, particularly if you don't have a, a large attic uh, if you, or if you have no attic space, you're gonna hear your metal roof a lot anytime there's a big rainstorm or hailstorm. And then of course, the longevity is not gonna be nearly as long as what you're gonna get with a Spanish tile roof. And of course, metal roofing is not cheap. Now, is it as expensive as a Spanish tile? No, but I am a big fan of these products. If you don't wanna go ahead and get the whole Spanish tile roof done. Hey guys, thanks a lot for watching the video. We really appreciate it. And if you enjoyed seeing the girls and you enjoy our content, please give the video a big thumbs up. It really helps us out a lot. And if you haven't subscribed to Digital Roofing Innovations, here's your official invitation to go down and click that red subscribe button below. Remember, Digital Roofing Innovations, we believe in using a modern approach with traditional values. Hey!